uh, you know, bounce back after a uh, you know game against Wisconsin Parkside. Went two and zero past weekend uh, at Purdue Northwest and Davenport. So, you know, talk about the start of the Gliac season for the team. Yeah, it was a rough start at home to Wisconsin Parkside. A very good team, and um, you know, we didn't perform quite as well as we were hoping that day. And uh, credit to Wisconsin Parkside for beating us here. Uh, we take pride in in being uh, strong at home and. Unfortunately, we you know we gave that one away. Um, so the the group has, has come back together and trained hard. For, uh, you know, last week uh, building up to a tough weekend on the road, we headed off to PNW on Friday. Um, good team, well coached team. Uh, Ryan Hayes does an exceptional job with the the program and um, found ourselves a goal down quite early in the game and uh, scratching our heads a little bit, figuring out what was going on, but. Carried on playing some good stuff and trusted the the, the process and how we played and um, you know finally got the win uh, two one in that game and then not much recovery just um, a Saturday uh, session to just get our legs back and then headed off on the road to Davenport who are you know arguably one of the best teams in the region I know the record doesn't reflect that right now but again another very well coached team by Chris Hughes who's won national championships at the NAIA level. He's always got his team prepared and, and ready to roll, and um, it was it was a hard match. Again, we found ourselves a goal down and uh, managed to turn that one around and, and, and won four one in the end. But uh, I think everyone will agree that four one was probably a flattering score at the end of the day. But um, all credit to the teams we played against this weekend. But for, from our perspective, we were very happy with the the bounce back from from the loss last weekend. Okay, and yeah, we've only had a couple home matches, but this weekend we. Uh you know, get to start a little stretch. We have some home matches in a row. Yeah. Uh, welcoming in, you know, Northwood on Friday and then nationally ranked Northern Michigan on Sunday. So yeah. what can you what can you tell us about your opponents this weekend and what are you looking for out of the guys? Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we know each other now in this league, so we all know what to expect from the teams that we're playing against. Um, you know, I've been here for, uh, this is going on my fourth season now, and, and the Northwood game is always the, the one you circle on the calendar just because of the rivalry that we have. Um, I, I, we're just trying to approach it like another game if we can. There's always the emotion involved with it being a local derby. Uh, they've got a very good team this year. I've, I've watched them a couple of times. They play a, a good style of soccer and uh, Stevie Shard is the new head coach over there. has done a, a very good job to start the season. So it'll be a, a derby in typical fashion with tackles flying in I'm sure and, and a, an aggressive match. Uh, but hopefully we can keep our composure and our cool and, and um, put in a solid disciplined performance and, and come away with the result you know with any luck and then and then uh, Northern Michigan on Sunday are, are the strongest they've been since David Poggi taken over a couple of years ago they're ranked uh, like you said 22nd in the country right now third in the region not giving away a lot of goals play a diff different system um, and a very very resilient hard-working team so we're definitely going to have our work cut out in that match and um, so it's a big weekend for us and Hopefully we can uh, get through this this weekend and and uh, get ready for uh, next week where we have another three games in the in the following uh, five days.